Alright, this is going to be a video on how to root uh, Metro PCS HTC Wildfire S. Here it is. Um, this is going to be a video on how to root it. Uh, this does not require your Wildfire to have S, um, S, off, S off. We're going to do a bootloader hack. So follow me on this. This is uh, for advanced people only, not for beginners. Alright. This is what we're gonna do. Go to the website htcdev.com. Uh, sign up for it, register for it, and then you're gonna log in with your username and password. Let me log in. Okay, you log in. Go to unlock bootloader. Now click on get started. unlocking your bootloader go to your device it should be right here HTC wildfire s click begin unlock bootloader now you wanna continue click yes now you wanna accept the terms that unlocking your bootloader will void your warranty so bear in mind that when you're doing this alright uh, now you're gonna scroll down and for some reason it says Metro PSC but you're gonna download that version so click on download okay, you're gonna follow these directions here on your phone click on enable USB debugging so on your phone settings applications uh, development and then USB debugging is checked alright uh, now you're gonna connect your phone to the computer And you're gonna <coughs> wait until it finishes installing your device drivers. If you haven't already done that, device is ready to use. As you can see, uh, HTC device ready to use. Okay. Now that you've done that. You go to your download, wherever you downloaded it, double click on this, yes, uh, I understand, click that box right there, click next, uh, connect your phone, okay, make sure battery, okay, I completed the steps above. Uh, next, verifying information. Ah, uh, you're gonna click update current ROM update. Ah, uh, next. Next updating ROM so we're updating the ROM file so we can unlock the bootloader I should load say HTC you should see it loading Congratulations is now complete. All right, you finished that. Now you go down in the same page where you downloaded the file. Go down and click on proceed to step one. Uh, unlocking bootloader instructions, remove battery, press volume down. Uh, okay, that tells you how to get into the 
bootloader mode we're gonna go to step five all right we're gonna um, we're gonna create a folder in our C drive so go to my computer or computer local disk C and you're gonna make a folder called Android which I already did Android and you're gonna put these files you're gonna put ADB fastboot and ADB win API dot DLL which it tells you right here you're gonna put those three in how do you put them in you go to your to the Android SDK where you have your Android SDK uh, downloaded to <coughs> mine is in the local C program Android Android SDK uh, platform tools and what I did was I right click that I click copy copy it I went back to my Android folder I created in my C drive and I right clicked and I clicked paste and that paste the win.dll you're gonna go back to your Android SDK you're gonna go to ADB do the same thing right click copy go back to the Android uh, on your C drive and you're gonna cl click paste uh, for fast boot you're gonna have to download that from your Android SDK I mean you have to download that in a different um, not not an Android SDK you have to download it in Android yeah Android SDK R13 zip so it's on the page so you just click that uh, click Android SDK 13 you'll open it and go into Android and go on tools scroll down and you'll see it right there fastboot.exe so what I did is I dragged that out to the fold to the Android folder on my C drive the one I created and I just dropped it in there fastboot.exe alright <clears throat> once you have those three folders uh, I mean once you have those three files in the folder go to uh, the command prompt uh, so click on your Windows uh, start menu on the search type CMD what I like to do is I like to right click it run as administrator so I can have administrator privileges on it and the command prompt will go to Windows System 32 um, navigate to your C drive so I just go CD slash CD backslash and then if I want to look at where I am DIR there's my Android folder so CD space Android DIR to check out check out the files there and there they are ADB fast boot unlock code uh, then go down and click that alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it from the computer the wildfire and we're gonna take out the battery take out the battery now you're gonna put the battery back in you're gonna hold down the volume down button and click on power button and you're gonna be in bootloader mode and it should say um, I don't know if you could see that 
It says locked O O M. Locked O M. All right. Once you're here, you're gonna. You're not gonna touch anything. Um, you're gonna just connect it back to the computer. So you're gonna have it plugged in with the computer, the phone to the computer. Now you're gonna go here on the command prompt and you're gonna type in what it says right there. All right, fast boot. <clears throat> oh yeah, get. Token. Uh, you're gonna follow the instructions. You're gonna click enter. Alright, you typed in. You typed in fastboot OEM. What it tells you to do get identifier. And when you press enter, it should give you this code right here. You're gonna go up here where it says please cut the following message and you're gonna start with identifier token start you're gonna click mark you're gonna highlight all this so you're gonna highlight all this and then you're gonna right click it and then it copies automatically when you right click then you go down here token identifier on the same page right click paste it and you should see it right here paste it on this and I'm gonna go to submit down here submit it says thank you alright now you're gonna check your email the email you used to sign up for the website and you should see an uh, email they sent you unlocking your HTC device. Attached is the bootloader um, key to download your code, your unlock code dot bin. You save it. All right. Uh, after you save it, you go where it is. You find it. You open where you have a uh, C. Um, computer C drive and the Android drive where the three files are ADB, ADB Win, and Fastboot. So you go to unlock code and you drag it in there. Alright, you have it dragged in there. Now you go back to your email and you click on continue bootloader process, unlocking process. Alright, step 12. You're going to go back to the command prompt. And you're going to type in that, what it tells you to do, fast boot flash. Alright, when you type on that, I'm going to click enter, it's going to send it, it's going to say, it's going to say it successfully. Uh, once you have that, you go to your phone and it shows you why unlock bootloader you go and you click the volume key up and down click up uh, select yes power button to click OK once you click the power button it should reboot Metro PCS. All right, your phone restarts. Um, all right, now we unlock the bootloader. Now, disconnect your phone from the PC. You're gonna download a uh, software that I'm gonna have down there on the video description. So download it. Uh, it's called HTC. 
Super Tool version 3. Are you going to run that? Double click that. Yes. HTC Super Tool Syndicate, whatever. That's what it should load. It opens up this ad, just close it. Uh, you're gonna connect it back to the computer. Oh, and when you unlock the bootloader, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna show like, it's gonna show like if it's the first time you're, um, you're turning on the phone, like if it's new. Uh, once you have your phone um, connected and this shows up, click on HTC Sync and click Done. It says, please wait while we find HTC Sync on your PC. It should say that, uh, connected. Alright, now you're going to go back to the Syndicate uh, HTC Super Tool and you're going to type in uh all oh, that comes up all right you're gonna type in one click enter and this is gonna run oh and by the way for this to work you're gonna need to uh, download HTC sync and install it on your computer so that's another thing that you're gonna have to do all right uh it's lo it's loading the it's preparing the phone to be rooted all right when that is completed you're gonna click number three attempt permanent root click enter and there you go rooted when this finish it just say rooted confirmation right there we type in reboot 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 enter your device is rebooting we're gonna wait for it to reboot Alright, the phone's rebooted. Uh, now, how do you check you have root access? Well, you go to your phone, click on the menu, uh, and there it is Super User. There you go, you have root access on your HTC Wildfire S. Now you could download uh, root applications and since your um your uh bootloader is unlocked uh you could flash um clockware recovery but i do not recommend you flashing um custom roms on it because i tried all of them and they're mostly for the t-mobile htc wildfire s with the sim card and if you do flash them your wireless isn't gonna work your data isn't gonna work the only thing that's gonna work is just text messaging and text messaging and calls uh, there's only one Metro PCS ROM available right now I'll link it in the description underneath there but yeah this is how to route the HTC Wildfire S for the Metro PCS and I hope you enjoyed it remember you need to have HTC sync installed already you need to have the Android SDK installed already and you need to download HTC super tool and I'm gonna have all these links on the description below no need to turn S off for this route this is with S on this is the bootloader exploit alright thank you very much for watching